708-608-6101 or visit us on the web at www.fountaingroveinn.com. Show Weekend Edition. I'm Michael Horn. That is Robert Conrad. And Mr. Uh, Conrad, you asked for another theme, so guess what? Here it is for you. Unfortunately, it's not a show you were involved with, but an equally great, wonderful star. This is the theme from Knott's Landing. And we're playing this because uh, we've got a great guest star here, don't we, on the show? Uh, absolutely wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Listen uh, to this for a second, will you? Yes. Nominated Outstanding Actress uh, in a Drama Series for Knott's Landing. Uh, best Actress for uh, Musical for Seesaw in 1974. That's a Tony. Best Actress Featured Play Nominated 201. Uh, soap Opera Digest Even Awards Outstanding one. Actress Primetime Serial Knots Landing. Favorite Supporting Couple Primetime in 86. Uh, in 88, Outstanding Actress in a Leading Role for Knots Landing in uh, 1988. Uh, Super Couple Primetime with Kevin Dobson, 91 Outstanding Lead, Prime Time for Knott's Landing, 92 Outstanding act Actress. She received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, November 19, 1998. And if you wanna see it, you can go to 6363 Hollywood Boulevard. She's an American singer, dancer, producer, director. She's a hot looking hen, man. I always <laughs> admired her. She was born Michelle Lee Dusick, in Los Angeles, his daughter is Sylvia and Jack Dusik, a makeup artist. Uh, her family is of Russian Polish descent, yeah, I which I love means. only because Augustine is Stutke is my great grandmother. Hello, so now I know why I'm attracted to her. You're Polish, I'm Czech, she's Russian and Polish. We're yes. all gonna get together. Now what we can do is we can go on and talk about the hor 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 unbelievable, horrific, you know, success this woman's had. But why don't we talk to her? Can Michelle. Hi. God bless you, girl. What a career. It's a fabulous career. I can't talk now. I'm off to see my Hollywood star on the Walk of Fame. 6363 <laughs> Hollywood Boulevard, and you can't walk because you're, you're now living in New York, I heard. Uh, no. I live, I'm bi-coastal. Okay, I really? I live in Los Angeles. I have an apartment in New York, and because I always have to keep my foot there. Gee, my right. roots started on Broadway, and uh, I just love New York. So Thank I've got the best of both worlds. And by the way, being bi coastal, I would say that my okay, life started we'll bi coastally because I was conceived in New York and born in Los Angeles. Wow. <laughs> hey, let me ask you a question. Does what? your son live in New York? My son used to live in New York. Now he lives about seven minutes from me. Wow, okay. Is he married? Uh, yes, he is. He's married to a wonderful girl. Good. And Mama's very happy. Yes, I know Mama is. Mama's very close to him because I also read that in your bio. So, uh -huh. the biggest blockbuster movie is 69, uh, The Comic and the Love Bug. And it says she starred in a special talent production of uh, Jerome Kern's musical Roberta, in which she sang Smoke Gets in Your Eyes. Dude, you're a great singer, Michelle. Boy, I, thank you so much. I, uh, you know, I don't even have to do the interview. I think you should just talking to everyone tell them how wonderful i am well you are wonderful i would hey listen if i didn't mean it sweetheart i wouldn't say it come on this is me uncle bob you know uh, michelle okay. as, as talented as you are as an actress and everything you've done i think a lot of people overlook uh, possibly your incredible singing career and i remember a song that was a big hit on the uh, middle of the road radio l david sloan and a few others you've had some big hits as well musically <laughs> i did you know, it's so funny because the people who watched me on Knott's Landing, uh, were, we were uh, grateful to have this uh, incredible demographic from young kids to, I'm not going to say old kids, well, I could say True older kid. kids. Yeah. And uh, some of the people, some of the audience knew me from my Broadway years, and before Broadway I was recording. So, uh, you know, I, I, I had this singing career that the younger people, had absolutely no idea about and um i guess that's the fun of doing a show like not landing you know you you just cover everything well 344 episodes you stayed with the show from its inception which i applaud you for that yeah it was i will tell you something it was and i know people hear this when we say it the people who were involved the actors who were involved with the show 
we we were involved in a blessing because we all truly got along and there was we had so much fun at work and that doesn't happen often i think one of the reasons mount sinai was so successful was because you can you can always kind of smell relationships when you're watching a uh, television series yep you know when it's not quite there the or the, the love relation isn't quite there. Uh, in a, a movie you happen to be watching, it's the sparks aren't really there. They're totally manufactured. Well, we see each other on occasion to this really? very day. It's, yes, a, it's great do. writing, and it's a great cast, and it's sort of like it's a marriage right there, and that kind of feeds on itself, doesn't it? Yes, and not only that, I must say, um, when you do a show, we were on for 14 years, 14 seasons, and... Um, when you're together for that length of time, and most of us were, um, you go through weddings and births of babies and deaths, and you hold hands emotionally through all of this. And it may, it's almost like, you know what I always say? It's like when you go to high school and there's few people that touch you in high school in some way, and there, there could be years that go by, but there's an emotional connection those people that will always be that's the way we feel um those of us who've been a part of not running you know i'm talking too much no you no, are you that's are why not. we have you my darling to hear you talk enough yes. about me i want to talk about you the thing <laughs> that i like about you is you've done it's a, such a versatile career uh, i got the my favorite question is uh, this is going into the third year of this show it's got five million listeners and, and one of them uh is, is a super fan and he's going to want to ask you a question and uh, Jean-Luc from uh, France, from Paris, I uh, guess it's your lucky day, Jean-Luc. Here we have Michel for you, okay? Wow. Jean-Luc, what's your hello, question? Hello, Mike. Hello, Mike. Hello, Miss Lee. It's hello. a lot to, to talk to you. Yes, Thank what's you. your question there, Jean-Luc? Yes, during your career, uh, one of the strangest partners that you have had, I think, was the famous car of uh, the love boat, Herbie. How do you remember this uh, movie and this car? Uh, the, you mean the love bug? The love oh, bug, yeah. yeah. I was, um, uh, that movie was the highest grossing movie in, in the States, here in the United States, <laughs> uh, of, of uh, 1969, I think, or 70. And um, I remember it fondly. First of all, it was the first of all of the love bugs. So um, I, I always like to say I was the first one, the one with the stick shift. <laughs> <laughs> you like I, that? That goes okay. okay. Uh, I, ha I have to tell you that, you know, first of all, um, you know, working with Buddy Hackett was so much fun. He was such a character, and of course, you know, he is since deceased. Yes. But Dean Jones and Buddy Hackett and I were a trio um, laughing through what was then in this Disney classic. Um, I, all I remember is sitting in mock-up, which is, uh, you know, part of the car, stuck in a studio where they would do blue screen around us. And uh, that was the way we used to do it before uh, Avatar. And, <laughs> and and the director would yell out, okay, now you're jumping, uh, the car is jumping over a pond. Okay, now the car is shivering. All right, the car right now is uh, stalling at a break. We're going to hold you over here, Michelle Lee. Stay with us straight.